So I had a video ready to give y'all today, but I'm gonna slide this one in because this guy needs to be stopped. Now, I was watching the OKC versus Warrior game last night. A rivalry. It's become a rivalry now. You got the angry Russell Westbrook trying to get his revenge on Kevin Durant, who left him at OKC to go chase rings, right? First two games between these two uh, teams this season went well for the OKC. They got two dubs. And I'm sitting back like, okay, can they get the third win on this team, on this great Golden State Warrior team? And if they did win, then the Warriors were on their first three-game losing streak since 2014. We're in for a great game. Now, while watching this game, this happened. Forced that one up. Bodies falling on the floor. Here comes Curry. Play continues. Looked like a little hobble. Looked like that left ankle got caught in between the action. Now, if you ask me, this is a very obvious dirty play from Zaza Pachulia. But Kenny, why are you talking about this play opposed to some of the other dirty things that have happened around the league? Because this guy, Zaza Pachulia, has turned into the dirtiest player in today's game. And I think he needs to be stopped. Now, 20, 30, 40 years ago, being a dirty player was normal. Actually, like every team in the league had their own version of Bill Lambeer, a player that was put specifically on the court to use and abuse the other team so you can hurt them enough that you get some W's. But eventually, the, the NBA evolved to the point where like, you know what? We don't need to go out and tackle Michael Jordan to try to get him to lose. Let's just put together a better team and outwork him. And because of that, we don't have many dirty players in the league anymore. And for good reason. We don't want to see injuries happen to our best players. And this, this right here could have easily ruined the rest of the, the Russell Westbrook season and OKC's chances of being something. By having a 7-foot, 250 pound dude fall on your leg could have easily ended terribly you know what it did end terribly for Kawhi Leonard and Leonard gingerly getting up again that's that's what they call all the time when you get your feet into the landing space of the shooter that ankle taking a pounding here in the third quarter one that was already sore now, instead of us getting what seemed like it was going to be a pretty good Western Conference Finals, Kawhi Leonard goes down. That's 30 or that 23-point lead that the Spurs had game one is over. And that series is over. Because they don't have their star player because Zaza wanted to be dirty. Now it's not like these are the only two instances of Zaza Pachulia being a dirty player. He has a long track record are basically going after players and right after the injury with Kawhi Leonard that happened in the last year's playoff Greg Popovich was pretty heated if you think about it he was having a pretty first of all the Spurs always have a pretty good regular season got to the Western Conference Finals and were up 23 on what seemed like was going to be the greatest team in NBA history the Golden State Warriors and then the injury happens and after the game here's a clip of him after the game in an interview and then I personally edited in the clips he was talking about. It's just not what anybody does to anybody else. And this particular individual has a history with that kind of action. You can go back and look in Dallas games where he got a flagrant two for elbowing Patty Mills. Powell, stop and pop, and a foul is called. Loose ball against the Mavericks. The play where he took Kawhi down and locked his arm in Dallas. Here's the scram on the watch. What happens after? Well, that's a foul, Dallas first right. of all, on Pachulia. Got a hold of Leonard's arm, wouldn't let go. And could have broken his arm. Ask David West, his current teammate, how things went when Jaja was playing for Dallas, and he and David got into it. it. Went down in that playoff series four or five years ago, where they... Pachulia and yep. West are ready to go. Yeah, and that's, that's the wrong guy to, to mess with, David West. And then think about the history he's had and what that means to a team, what happened last night. A totally unnatural closeout that the league has outlawed years ago and pays great attention to it. Now those are just a few instances of Zaza being a dirty player. And each of them could have ended 
well terribly. The first time a Kawhi Leonard could have broke Kawhi Leonard's arm. Patty Mills, he got hit directly in the head. That could have concussed my mans. And now, now Russell Westbrook and Zaza Pachulia do have a track record because, well, this happened last year. They have a foul to give, and there it is as Pachulia knocks down Westbrook, then stands over him. Now, I don't know why Zaza Batulia want to be a Marvel villain looking over the people he's down, but that's what he wanted to do. Now, then you got Russell Westbrook going back in the interview saying that he was he would get his revenge. And maybe that led to Zaza doing what he did today. But nonetheless, this guy needs to be stopped. I hope that the NBA will step in. We shouldn't have to wait for another player to get injured before they start to do something about it. We were this close. We were this close. Do you see? Let's we'll play the clip again. Do you see how close he was to hitting the knee? It's bad. It's bad. And Zaza needs to be stopped. Now, how could he be stopped? I don't know. <laughs> I, I put on Twitter, suspend Zaza. That's the only thing I could think about. That in his mind, he, he serves the suspension. He comes back and like, you know what? I actually want to get paid. Give him an unpaid suspension or something. Some people in my mentors like ban him. That I think that may be going a little too far, but still there something needs to be done about Zaza Pachulia being a dirty player. Again, we don't need that in today's league. We've already dealt with too many injuries this season. Boogie, Kristaps, Hayward, Jeremy Lin, Mike Conley, Jimmy Butler recently, Marcus Smart, even though Marcus Smart, he did that to himself. Just, it, it, the list goes on and on. And if you would have added a Russell Westbrook to this list, the season would be over. Well, nah, the season would be over, but it would just be tragic for us fans. Our viewing experience gets less and less every day once somebody else gets injured. Now, to prevent some injuries, we need to do something about Zaza to get him to the place where he's not falling on people or grabbing people's arms or throwing elbows or things like that. All these little subtle things that he think he can get away with need to come to an end. So it's the next morning, and I forgot to say this in the original video, that there is a fine line between... Um, being physical and being dirty and Zaza crosses the line into dirty now late last night I was browsing through reddit and I saw this picture right here I'll put it up on screen and you can see Nick Young does hit the back of Zaza's leg now back when I was in school like in grade school people used to hit you there with a book bag and your body automatically collapsed so this play may not be a dirty play because Nick Young's leg hit the back of Zaza's and that makes you fall. But even when I tweeted that, people were tweeting back at me saying like um, Zaza didn't put his arms out to prevent himself from landing on Russell's knee. Whatever. This may not have been as a dirty of play as we thought in the, the beginning, but if Zaza doesn't have this long history of dirty plays, then we wouldn't automatically think this is a dirty play. But nonetheless, I, I decided to put this video out anyway because he still has the track record of being a dirty player, and that's not cool. So uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. It was a long rant, but I thought it was an entertaining one. The newest episode of my podcast, Through the Wire, dropped. Um, we talked about some conspiracies. We talked about the new playoff format and that may happen. And we talked about the NCAA players getting paid. So if that sounds interesting, I'll put the link in the description. And right now, I'll roll the original outro that I recorded for this video. Now again, Zaza does have the reputation of being a dirty player, but when I did tweet suspend Zaza, they were people in his defense. So you may not agree with anything I said in this video, which is completely fine. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. One, do you think Zaza is a dirty player? Two, if you do think he's a dirty player, what can we do to remedy him being a dirty player? Because you think about it, I can't think of any other really dirty players in the league. You could say Draymond Green with the, the ball kick and stuff, but Draymond hasn't done it in a couple of years. You know, they're, they're not dirty players in the league anymore. Zaza is number one on that list. So what can we do to stop what Zaza is doing? Or if you don't think he's a dirty player, try to help me understand how that's not dirty. Because I that's blatantly dirty to me. Thank y'all so much. The video that I did have scheduled for today will just drop tomorrow. And it's about... Injuries, yeah, believe it or not. We talk about injuries one more time. Thank y'all. Peace. My conspiracy is that he's doing what the report said that Kyrie Irving would have done if he wasn't traded.
Okay. You remember early in the season, there was something saying that um, Kawhi Leonard and the Spurs organization disagree on such and such. And they were like, nah, that's bad reporting, whatever. But Kyrie Irving came out and said, like, if the Cle- Cleveland Cavaliers don't trade me, I'm going to sit out with a knee injury. Maybe Kawhi is like, you know what? I, like, he could not be happy in that organization. And he's like, if since y'all don't want to deal me or we're not getting to a point where we agree on stuff, I'm just going to sit. And the reason I say this, that this is a legit possibility, 